Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. Okay, so you'll be pleased to know I'm nearly at my end of my list for all my little paper clothes, all my little origami clothes. So today I thought um, I would show you how to make these little coats um, and they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I'm going to go through them. So this is a lovely little pink one and I've made a little pink bag to go with it. And I've popped a little bow on here so they're really really easy again so it's just a very very basic one this one I've just done out of tea stain paper and I've actually just done some like little um, stitch marks around it and I thought that would look lovely in like a sewing journal so it looks a bit like a pattern um, so I thought that would look really nice this one I've just done out of these are all done um, on six by six um, scrapbook papers and because you don't have to do a huge amount of folding the paper is just that little bit thicker so you don't have to have very very thin paper it's not as many folds as the dress um, and this one I've just popped some little self adhesive pearls on there as the little buttons and I think they're absolutely gorgeous this was the first one that I did so it's a bit wibbly wobbly a bit wonky um, and it just popped a little bit of trim there it looks a bit like a dressing gown this one um, but I think it's so nice this one I've done in Paris paper so this is lovely um, like a collage paper and I popped a little belt on there which I've just sewn a piece of paper and just tied it around it um, in a little bow not in a bow in like a little knot so it's just like a little um, belt on there and also I've popped a belt on this one so this is lovely I've just popped a little bit of paper around there and popped a little self adhesive pearl on there so I think they look so nice now these are all made of six by six um, and this one I've done and I've actually made one of the little dresses to go inside now it's a little adapted it just a tiny bit so when you make the dress don't pull this bit out too far I folded in quite a bit more of the skirt and also for the sleeves oopsie daisy I just folded them over instead of actually giving them sleeves and um, this hasn't got sleeves on here um, and that just fits in there lovely now this one again was made out of six by six and if you want a dress to go in it do it an inch smaller so this was a fit five by five square and this was a six by six square um, so then the, the dress will just fit in there nicely like that and I think that looks brilliant doesn't that look lovely and I've just got some little shiny diamantes on there and then I've made a little one here this one's a little bit smaller I've got a little pearl on there as the closure and then again I've just made the little dress like that this is the coat was five by five and that was four by four and this does actually fit in here okay and it's just a shorter dress so if you wanted a shorter dress inside go two inches down so the coat six by six and that is four by four so you could have a smaller dress instead of a larger dress like that but I think they both look lovely okay so I'm going to show you how we did it okay so I'm going to just do it on a piece of um, tea stain paper so you can see and then I'm going to make one out of this which is like a Christmassy paper which is really pretty um, so what you do you fold it in half like that and then fold it in half this way so in half both ways like that and then you want to fold it in like we normally do and again you can mark the middle if you can't see in the middle um, I'm just gonna fold this in like that so this this is a lot lot easier than the dress really easy so you folded it in like that and then you turn it over and where you've got the, the middle mark here you want to bend down one of the ends and fold it into the middle okay like that so that's just folded over okay and then you turn it around like that and we want to bring this bit in like that very much like we did the shirt on the little um, shirt and tie so you bring that down so you've got like a little lip there all the way down and you want to do 
just so it goes over slightly over half and then you do the same again on this side just so it goes over half but you want to measure the same this side so these are even well, sort of that's not very good folding was it so that just folds over like that okay so you've got two that open out like that and on these bits you want to just get your finger in there so folds over pop your finger inside so where this straight line is you want to push that down so it's in line with this edge here so that this is making the sleeve okay so again this side push it up like that and push it down so that top line is in, in, in line with the outside like that okay so it sits like that and then with the sleeve you want to just turn it over and then bend it in just so it comes to to the edge here like that just so it's level with that edge bit okay and again this side fold it in like that and there we go and there's your, your little jacket i didn't quite fold these quite even so it's a little bit wonky but that's how easy it is so then you can just decorate it how you want to so i'm going to make one out of this one now to show you again so you want to fold it so put the the um pattern side down and fold it over okay so fold it over like that and then again this way so we get the middle like so so remember if you've got your pattern going a certain way make sure you sort of like keep that um, in the right direction and we fold this into the middle and this paper is just slightly thicker like that and then this one into the middle just so they meet up nice and straight now I've got my bone folder here so we can get this nice and straight and then once you've folded that in turn it over and you want to bring the top bit down and into that middle bit where we folded so that it's halfway down like that okay flatten that off open it up now we want to fold this is where we do the collar so you fold it over okay so you want to this is the middle line just fold it so it just goes over the middle but you want to have sort of like a little bit there like that i hope this is making sense on this one and then the same this side so you want to just fold it over like that make sure it's even find it easier to sort of do it on the side and just flatten it down on your bone, bone folder like that okay and then what we need to do is just pop your finger inside that little bit there and push it down so that you've got the top bit so this top bit has to go in line with this outside piece there and then again the same with this side just push that down it's like a little kimono there doesn't it make sure these are nice and flat down like that and then we turn it over and then we just fold this piece in like that just to make the sleeves like that okay and then we've got a lovely little coat you can push these bits in and make it rounded there but i don't really bother i think that looks nice like that so how cool is that i think that's really nice now what i've got i've got a couple of these little um self-adhesive pearly things here so i think a little blue one would look quite nice on there wouldn't it just on there so it looks like a little a little button on there 
and that's as easy peasy as it comes so you can decorate them as much as you like you if you've got a little bit of furry fabric or something you can make a, like a little fur collar on there um, and again you can pop the little dress inside make another one that's matching or actually not matching you could just do a sort of like coordinating color so again it looks nice with the pink inside doesn't it so I think these are really easy so there we go guys easy peasy one so as I said before I've nearly come to the end of my list of my um, origami clothes um, and then we will probably be starting on something else so there we go I hope you enjoyed that so I look forward to seeing all your makes um, popped onto the group because I'm absolutely loving it so and I love it I love these little dresses inside popped inside like that and we've got lots of lovely lovely dresses not dresses coats and don't forget you can make a little belt you could pop a little bit of ribbon or a piece of lace around it depending on what style coat you want to make but this one I've just a piece of paper wrapped around with a little I've glued it on there glued it together and I've stuck one of the little self adhesive pearls on there so easy peasy and that one's got the lovely little bow with the matching handbag like that so fantastic love them all right guys well thank you so much for joining me um i hope you're still all safe um and um crafting away nicely so um thank you very much and i will see you soon all right take care guys bye bye